So we're with Team East Africa. Again, I'm stuck Yay. with the Tanzanians, stuck in a good way. Who is this? Oh my gosh. It's the winner Hi. of Big Brother Africa. Hi. Fangirl moment. We're here for free drinks. <laughs> It's Susan from Capital Lifestyle Magazine and today I'm going to take you through the Hennessy 250 tour celebrating 250 years for the House of Hennessy um, and this morning, really exciting, I get to meet the CEO of Hennessy, the master blender who's been doing it, his entire family, seven generations and of course Maurice Hennessy. Can't wait to show you a little bit of Hennessy in Johannesburg and um, meeting some really interesting people, 250 really cool people from all over the continent of Africa. How much of your work is instinct and how much is it methodical? Um, there are two, two important aspects of the, the in, in being a master blender and in blending. It's one is select tasting, mm -hmm. selection, and the other one is blending. So um, uh, Tasting is linked to your ability to, to be a very good taster. So maybe there is some instinct there. Mm -hmm. But uh, when blending, the idea with Hennessy, we don't sell individual cognacs, we sell blends. BS, BSOP, XO. And what I have to do is uh, to give quality to every blend or each blend and to give consistency. And in order to be perfectly consistent in the quality, um, then it's methodical. You have, you have to, you have to be, uh, you have to do the same thing and try and try. It, it, when you when you blend, you think of getting the same result. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, so is there a specific year of eau de vie that you've sampled mm -hmm. over the years that had that special something? No, there is not one year. But there are years which are uh, which have produced some very 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 exceptional cognacs. Maybe not in uh, when you speak of completely exceptional. It's it's, it's of course it's so exceptional. It's small quantity. But there are some years have produced cognac which are among the the best uh, we have. We, uh, you can imagine. You have and I have ever tasted. Is there a decade maybe that you No, no, time? it comes from different decades. We have some. No, no, no. Oh, uh, uh, hopefully, it's not coming from just one year, but uh, a generation, maybe. I don't know. Is, is your family it's, still involved? Yes, my uh, nephew, who is uh, coming this morning to uh, Johannesburg, is uh, also is uh, is involved with Hennessy. So maybe he will succeed. Maybe Hennessy will choose uh, another taster. What makes cognac? Uh, mm. Pair well with food. Where are the qualities? Cognac, cognac is uh, is probably, if I can say so, the roundest spirit. It has, you know, uh, some some spirits are, are more flavored. They are they are strongly flavored. Cognac, a good cognac, a very good cognac. It's not, it's not, it, it, it has not got a strong flavor. It's, it's round, harmonious, smooth. So, uh, cognac will blend perfectly with a mixer. Uh, I think it's one of the best uh, spirit you can use uh, for, for, for mixed drinks. And uh, at the same time, I think it's, uh, you know, you can pair it for, with many things because it has this, this exceptional roundness due to the aging in, uh, in chosen. Uh, Gasping with oak and everything. So I think uh, cognac is a uh, when uh, in food pairing is is, is the spirit we, we, which can the best uh, associate with food. Happy birthday! Oh, you're very kind. <laughs> yes, it is unique and special. That I agree, especially because I was around when we did the 200, and 200 sorry, and the 200 
and 20 Earth I was involved too. So 250 start to be a big uh, amount of years and <laughs> it's great to be to some of them. Uh, legacy. Well, I think all what I know came from my grandfather who ran Hennessy for nearly 50 years. Uh, my father was a nuclear scientist, so he was not so interested in commerce as such. Although he liked the region very much and wine growing, but he was not really uh, very useful for business as such. Uh, so the legacy is uh, something which is transmitted to you by members of the family, but also a lot of my friends or people who work in a firm like the Filiou family or others. And that's how you learn and then you build because it's not, you need the roots for a tree, but you also need the air. <laughs> really what we try to do the best is making cognac. And this is very difficult. <laughs> this is difficult, really, this is our job. Frankly, tasting is really, uh, you have to have a gift, uh, which I probably don't have. Uh, I, it's funny what you ask me, because, you, because for the first time in my life, uh, I'm, I'm an older man now, but uh, let's say that five or six years ago, we started us, even as non-taster, to have tasting courses, just to know what it's all about. And I promise you, it is very, very tiring. Some of my colleagues, a bit younger, or the same age, were a bit more patient, but you know, to have you have blue glasses and you have things in it, and what is it? Oh, what well, is this? Smells like shit, it's probably. But you know, you can't say it's burnt tire because you may be wrong. I mean, it looks very awful to say that's burnt tire, but it is. Or, <laughs> or this is uh, cloves, or this. Is... So, no, I couldn't do that. But then my job is more to tell stories. They must drink it the way they like and not make it boring. I have noticed here um, that people use to, are warming their glass in hot water to drink honey. For me it's a little bit sad, that's not the way I would recommend. I think cognac should be consumed at room temperature because it's wonderful to have the sort of cool liquid impression in your mouth which is pleasurable than if you have a hot cognac, it's, uh, it's better to have tea, uh, if you really want to be warmed up. Especially in your country, where it's really, very warm. I mean, try the cognac cold, and like me, have it on the rocks. That's even better. Uh, but, um, and also, don't forget that in East Africa, I'm sure you have some great mixologists who make wonderful cocktails and cognac is for a cocktail where truffle is for a great French sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, the truffle is a rare, very expensive mushroom which gives wonderful perfume. So does cognac. Uh, so it enhances a great cocktail to add a little bit of Hennessy. But also a simple, uh, you know, sometimes you, you feel like a nice cool drink, but you don't want it all too alcoholic. Hennessy and tonic or Hennessy and ginger ale. It's a great drink with ice and under your porch at night. <laughs> <laughs> the principle of innovation is just, for me, a sign of uh, being alive. You know, it's a sign that uh, a brand um, uh, is capable of breathing uh, and being, especially breathing, act, being active and so on. So. It, it's really, uh, you know, at, at the very essence of innovation. Innovation, for the sake of it, is not true. It's just agitation. You know, it's not the same. You know, if you go around the planet, uh, people would drink it uh, in the U.S. You know, with cranberry juice, or you know, here in Africa, quite often now, you know, either need on the rocks. Um, actually, balloon glasses. Uh, um, are less and less used except here in Africa because I think it's a way for people to say you know I'm not drinking the scotch I'm drinking a cognac that's differentiated myself from the others so, so that's fine with us you know we, we we are here to first you know propose 
uh, a cognac of which we are very proud but we don't want to force people to drink it uh, in a specific way. If you go to uh, China, for example, young uh, male and female would drink it, you know, with um, uh, cold uh, green tea, uh, because it's very refreshing. If you go to, uh, you know, nightclubs, uh, where there are hundreds of these young people, you know, uh, obviously legal drinking age, clearly. <laughs> um, but, you know, they, they, they'll, they're drinking like that. They'll have a bottle of Hennessy on the table, you know, uh, six glasses, a pitcher, you know, with uh, green iced tea, um, and, and, and have it like that. So I think it's, it's again, a very uh, versatile drink. And I think this is one of the benefits of what cognac is compared to some other drinks. Uh, it's made from grapes. Um, that makes it very easy to mix, even with fruit juice. You know, I think here uh, in Africa, also people uh, drink it with appetizer on it. Perfect. Mm -hmm.